Yo, what's happening YouTube family? I hope that everybody's doing well out there. In this video today, what I wanted to do was take you guys through a personality test called 16personalities.com and then what I want to do is share out some of the results that I took from my own personality test. And the reason I wanted to do this with you all is because I feel like over the years, um, oftentimes whenever I've started on a new design team, each of us on the team have taken a personality test and I feel like it's helped me understand and become self-aware of my strengths and weaknesses but it's also helped me understand the strengths and weaknesses of the designers around me or the people that I'm collaborating with like product managers or engineers and overall I feel like these tests have helped us collaborate and work better with one another but in the long run, it's also opened me up to my blind spots and areas where I feel like I need to work on a little bit more, right? So enough talk, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So the site is called 16 Personalities. Um, I'm on the homepage and if you scroll down, oh, no, actually I need to click on this button that says take the test. So when you click on this button, you get taken to a page where you can take the personality test It's loading up right now um, but it's just a bunch of different statements that you either strongly agree with or strongly disagree with the entire test takes less than five minutes but once you go through that it's going to share a report with you and in that report what you'll see is that you have a personality type and then on the right side you'll see a bunch of different you know results here uh, based on different criteria but you know when I've been through these tests multiple times I feel like they are typically spot on man like it, it's it's almost scary right it's almost like you know there's a robot or some sort of AI that knows me better than I know myself right so let me show you what I'm talking about and take you guys through my results and you can either agree with this stuff if you have seen 10 20 videos already of me you, you probably know me a little bit um, but you can either agree or disagree here so I'll take you guys through some of the highlights that I recognize so there's an introduction page here um, and it says here that INFJs which is my personality type we are the rarest personality type thank you very much right advocates shouldn't be mistaken for idle dreamers people with this personality type care about integrity and they're rarely satisfied until they've done what they know to be right right that is so me we seek purpose in what we do um, that was something that stood out we like uh, connecting with others and ourselves right I'd like to I I'd really like to connect with people but I also like to understand myself uh, you know as I go through life so it says here advocates may be introverted but they value deep authentic relationships with others. Few things bring these personalities as much joy as truly knowing another person and being, and being known in return. Advocates enjoy meaningful conversations far more than small talk. That's big, man. That is big. You know, like I feel like I cannot tolerate small talk. I need to know how you feel and why you feel that way. It says here, there's another section for personal mission people with this personality type one of the most rewarding aspects of life is seeking out this purpose and then once they found it striving to do it justice I feel like this really resonates with me because as a designer I don't typically see a lot of black designers you know and what I mean by that is that oftentimes I am the only black designer on my team or the only afro latino designer right like I I want to see more flavor out there so that that is one of the reasons I started this channel uh, to make it my personal mission to try to change that right and then what you'll see is that there is a strengths and weaknesses section and I feel like this is super helpful to go through so um, you know for strengths we are creative individuals we're very insightful another thing that stood out to me is is this section that says principled advocates tend to have strong beliefs and values particularly when it comes to a matter of ethics 
When advocates talk about topics close to their heart, their conviction and heartfelt idealism can inspire and persuade even the sternest of skeptics. Now, I feel like, you know, I have not uh, been classically trained as a designer, but I try to use all the things that I do know. You know, I know about faith, I know about struggle, I know about, you know, um, design from a different perspective. And I've always used that in, you know, my videos on YouTube or even with the folks that I work with. I use the background and the references that I have from other things to uh, communicate what I'm talking about when it comes to design. Um, there's another section for altruistic advocates want to use their strengths for their greater good and they rarely lose sight of how their words and actions might affect others. In their heart of hearts, they want to make the world a better place starting with the people around them, right? With this YouTube community, I feel like I'm trying to do my part when it comes to design, right? Um, so there has to be some meaning in what I am pursuing with everything that I do, either at work or what I do out of work. Um, I won't take you guys through all the different sections, but as you can see on the left hand side, you know, it, it has a section for romantic relationships, friendships, parenthood. Uh, the one that I did want to take you guys through is career paths because this really stood out to me. So if you're unfamiliar with what path to take in your career, even if you know, like you're like, I want to be a designer, but I'm not really sure. I, I might want to do something else. I just don't know what that is. This is a good page to check out. So here it says the search for purpose. Advocates gra gravitate toward work as counselors, therapists, psychologists, social workers, teachers, and spiritual leaders. Right? I have done a little bit of all of these things at this point, you know, as I've transitioned into design. Um, I used to work as a youth count, uh, not a counselor, a youth mentor in South Los Angeles before I was a designer and I was also a teacher. And now as of late, I've gotten into medicine, I have gotten into nutrition, and I have gotten into holistic health, which I have shared with a lot of the team members that I currently work with at LinkedIn. Right. Um, so, yeah, guys, and it says here a sense of personal mission. So basically, INFJs want to save the world. Right? And, uh, you know, I hope that what this shows you is that if you are unfamiliar with your strengths and weaknesses and you need to gain some self-awareness, you know, this is a good test to check out because it can, you know, help you realize things that you are not objective about when it comes to yourself right so i hope this is fun for you guys to check out i hope that you guys learn a little bit more about me and i hope that it inspires you to take the test maybe it might just bring some self-awareness to what you're trying to do with your life anyways guys if this was helpful in any way you already know the deal like comment subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video peace